Hello, it's Tuesday the 29th of January and time for some more tax assist tips. Um, we've met some self-employed people in the last few weeks who have been needing help with their tax returns um, and I thought it was useful just to go through a quick checklist of uh, things to do when you become self-employed. So we're talking here about self-employed or sole trader as opposed to uh, when you set yourself up using a limited company. Um, so my checklist is as follows. Uh, when you go self-employed, you should register with HMRC as self-employed. Uh, that will notify them uh, that you've commenced a trade and it will also mean that you get yourself a unique taxpayer reference, a UTR, which uh, is essential for any um, communication with uh, HMRC and for filing your tax return, etc. Um, the next things we've got on our checklist is uh, checking if you need any uh, permits or planning permissions from the local authority to do whatever it is that you've uh, set out to do in your trade. Uh, finding out whether you need to pay any business rates for any premises that you have. Um, making sure that you've got the appropriate insurance in place. Um, considering whether or not you need to register for VAT. Uh, making sure that you have an appropriate record keeping system. Um, making sure that your trading names on all your business stationery, including your letters, your invoices, receipts and checks. Um, and very importantly, setting up terms and conditions for your customers, so people know, um, for example, when you need paid. Uh, we can help with all of these things, uh, if you need any advice on any of that, uh, what it means to be self-employed, or any tips and advice on how to do things uh, more efficiently, uh, just get in touch with us here at Tax Assist. Thank you.